Birmingham is now known as a new foodie city, and moms just don't have time to cook. So if you're looking for some local, down-home Southern cuisine, then pull up a chair for Dining Out with Comedian Joy. That's right, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes us to some of the best places to eat in Birmingham and its surrounding cities. So whether you're on 2059 East or West, or 65 North or South, or 459 or somewhere in between, Dining Out with Comedian Joy is about to tempt your tummy and make those taste buds water. So if you like your meat three in a brick and mortar or in a gas station, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes you to some of the best spots in town. Well, thank you everyone for joining us on the special edition of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Since it was spring break, I decided to bring you the best of, and I have a few of my friends that's gonna be joining me. And right now, my good friend is Jennifer Gowers with GoPro Events. Hey, Joy. Hi. Thanks for coming out oh, today. It's a pleasure. At the beautiful railroad park yes, here in Birmingham. gorgeous. Now, you have a great event that's coming up tomorrow with the food trucks. We do, we have the first of a series, our spring food truck, food truck rally with the Greater Birmingham Street Food Coalition. Woohoo! And name a few of those trucks that will be there. We're going to have Eugene's Hot Chicken. I love Eugene's Hot Chicken. Ooh, it's so good. Zeppi's doing a great job. We're going to have Nola Ice. We're love have Nola Ice. Rapisi's, Italian Ice and Gelato. Okay. We've got Old Town Pizza. I've been meaning to call them. Snap Y'all got to come on the show. Yes. Snapper Grabbers. Love Snapper Grabbers. Snap Vestavia coming out from there. And, and uh, Slice. Melt. Love Slice. Listen, Melt, Melt oh. Birmingham, all of these food trucks that are already featured on my website. You need to go to Dining Out with Comedian Joy to see more of them. So you can go there right after the show and you can see all these great people that she listed. Your event is what time tomorrow? It is 1 to 6. 1 to 6. So go there. $5 to get in. $5 to get in for all so that good food. affordable, yes. That is cool. Yes. And if they need more information, where can they go? Behamfoodtrucks.net. Behamfoodtrucks.net. And guess what? I'm going to list that on my website as well so you can go there and get more information. But Jennifer, do you like tamales? I love tamales. Well, listen, since you love tamales, yes. you're going to love Birmingham's newest restaurant. It is Delta Blue's Hot Tamales. Oh, my God. Yes. Where are they located? They're of uh, Cobb Lane downtown oh. in Birmingham. Oh. So check Perfect. this out. Watch Delta Blue's Hot Tamales. Perfect. Now, normally when you think about tamales, you think about going to Mexico. Well, there's no need to pull out a passport because all you got to do is come to the south side of Birmingham to my friends at Sweet Delta Blues Hot Tamale. Now, Sweet Delta Blues is tucked away here on Cobb Lane. Not only do they serve some amazing tamales and some wings, but they also have some delicious catfish. Delta Blue's Hot Tamales serves up authentic pork and black bean tamales. Now the husband and wife couple brought the taste of Mississippi to the south side of Birmingham. Well, there's a lot of barbecue places here. There's we a love. lot, which we love. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of good food in Alabama, but there's not, not anything like this. Making tamales is a seven hour process, but two of their signature dishes isn't just a plain tamale. It's a delicious meal. This is the Raging Cajun. It's also our uh, signature hot tamales, this time covered with red beans and andouille sausage with sour cream and green onions on top. And we have corn mock shoe on the side. Corn mock shoe is very similar to a cream style corn, except for it has different peppers and onions and different spices. Add it with some bacon. And we know bacon makes everything better. This is our tamale pie. You've got to give it a try. It's really good. Did you say pie? I did say pie. Man, now who can turn down pie? Everybody loves pie, don't they? Mmm. This is so good. You put something sweet in this pie. I think it's to put in here cinnamon. I think it's got a little bit of cinnamon in there, but I can't give away all the secrets. Man, that's right. You're not getting all the secrets. You know why? Because we got to come down here to Delta Hot Tamales and get some. That's why. Now, are these your famous baked beans? Those are my famous baked beans. I've been making those for 25 years. Long process to those, and they've got to cook for a long time because they're not good unless they've cooked for at least three hours. Three hours at, to make some beans? At least. Man, let me tell you, after tasting these beans, I know how you got your wife. You <laughs> gave her some of these beans, and she said, I do. <laughs> For those of you who do not know how to eat a tamale, grab your paper and your pencil. Here's your lesson. Take it, open it up, and it's Oh, uh, you unroll it. it. Oh, how cool. So then, if I didn't want the toppings on it, I could just eat it straight like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Mm. 
Oh man, this is good. So, is this the pork tamale? That is the pork tamale, and we can you can get those by the half a dozen or dozen, just like that. Oh my gosh, can I get them by the two half dozens and the you three sure dozen? Can, yes. Oh, uh -huh. If you don't believe me about the tamales at Delta Blues, just ask the customers. Tamales, they're terrific. They're good tamales. So is it the pie or just the plain ones? How do you like yours? I like the tamales anywhere they fix them. Right? One question most people have about hot tamales, are they really hot? It's, it's, it's got, got some, some kick, kick to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does have some kick to it. Um, but we think it's good in, in certain ways that we prepare stuff. If you're not one for spicy food, we can tone it down a little bit. And after the break, we'll show you some other foods at Delta Blues that's not as spicy, but still packs a lot of punch when it comes to flavor. All right, and we're back. Now, Jennifer, let me ask you this. What about burgers? Do you love hamburgers? I love hamburgers. Well, let me tell you, we have some fancy burgers that's going I'm on. Pretty in... pinky, are you sure? Oh, I sure. am positive. Who are, we, who are you about to say? I'm going to tell you about <laughs> Burger Fi in Tuscaloosa, Ooh. Alabama. Let me tell you, Burger Fi, they're so awesome. They have their name printed on their buns. They what? Yeah, so who you just that? Oh my God! Exactly. Who are they? Who are they in Tuscaloosa? They're in Tuscaloosa. I can't remember the street, but guess what? Watch this <laughs> clip right here, and you can see all about Thank Burger God for Fi. Google. We'll find it. I know. Go to the website. <laughs> But watch this episode of Burger Pie. When you come to Tuscaloosa, there's something else here that's just as good as football, and that's the burgers over here at Burger Pie. Burger Pie, all natural. Burger Pie is Tuscaloosa's newest burger chain that cooks up gourmet burgers with a casual dining voice. One popular burger at Burger Fi is so good that it's bad. That actually stands for breakfast all day. Grilled onions, ketchup, a hash brown patty, a beef patty, American cheese, a fried egg, which we cook to medium. So when the egg pops, it goes all over the sandwich. Two strips of bacon and maple syrup. So you bet you're getting your breakfast all day. There's also a tasty veggie burger for those looking for something light. Our veggie patty is made from scratch with high protein like quinoa, lentils, and other fresh ingredients. I'm coated in flour. So you fry your veggie burger? Yes, ma'am. Does that make it unhealthy? Oh, no, ma'am. We use 100% peanut oil. Let it dry. It's a gluten-free option, it's a celiac disease option, it's also a low-carb, low-calorie option. We sell about 30% green style as opposed to 30% bread bun. So what does customers think about Burger Fi? More than awesome. <laughs> More than awesome? Yeah. Hey, is it better than your mom's? No offense. <laughs> it's great. It's very good. Better than anywhere else. Number one. <laughs> My first time coming. So how was it? It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Look, you got bacon, you got hash brown, you got all the food groups, you got cheese, and you got an egg on here. Mmm. <laughs> this really is um, good. I don't think it's missing this some grit. This is a delicious burger. You gotta come to Burger Fight and sorry. This is bad to the bone. This is a cry fry. Cry fry? Yes, which is eight ounces of fries and three o greens on top. You can get any kind of way with toppings on it. You can get parmesan and herb. You can get Cajun. You can get chili and cheese sauce on top. We do it however you want. These onion rings are huge. Look at this. I can wear these on every. But they're so good. They're good the next day. They're good cold. Now look at this. When you see the onion ring, the, the breading it stays on. I love that. There's nothing like ordering onion rings and all your breading falls off. You gotta come to breakfast. Look at these things. They're Nobody in town makes better onion rings than this, and I'll eat all of them. Burger Fi also knows how to make a deluxe dog. Yellow mustard, neon ranch, pepper, uh, sports pepper, on diced onions, uh, tomatoes, egg shake, and a... I don't think I got a taste of everything in one bite, but very, very good. Kind of spicy, too. Love the chocolate. Love all the desserts here at Burger Fi. You gotta check them out. They're right here on McFarland Boulevard in Tuscaloosa. They're open seven days a week. They have the finest craft beer and a great gourmet burger. So come and check them out. I look forward to seeing you more on the blog on the next episode of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Mm -hmm.
Classy Boutique for all your high fashion jewelry needs. Classy Boutique sells only the best in high fashion women and men's jewelry, accessories, and women's clothes. Classy Boutique, helping you find the style you want at a price you'll love. Located in Forestdale Square off Highway 78. Call them at 205-335-5176. That's 335-5176. Fifty-one seventy-six, or visit them online at theclassyboutique.com. My name's Colt Reese, and I own a little bit of R and R Barbecue. The experience was was wonderful. We uh, we had just immediate results from the segment airing. People saw it, and they instantly wanted to come and eat eat our food. <laughs> Talk Alabama segment, it was it was a lot of fun. So I we'll see see what happens with it, but it uh, it was good to uh, showcase our barbecue there. And not only was it, it fun to to shoot with Comedian Joy, but I love watching her show, Dining Out with Comedian Joy. I got all the stars that's joining me this week for the best of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. I got my good friend, Randall Wolfen, that's joining me today. See you, my friend. It's good to see you too. Absolutely. In fact, this is where we first met at Rebel Park Judging the Food Event. It was, it was. Speaking of, you're doing a great job with your future. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm trying to put Birmingham on the map just like you're doing here. Good job. Well, let me ask you, do you like barbecue? No, I love barbecue. Man, if you love barbecue, then you all are going to love the barbecue down at Green Top Barbecue. So check out this segment right here on the Best of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. So where is the best place on Highway 78 near Dora in Jefferson County to get some delicious buffalo wings and some barbecue ribs? Nowhere else but Green Top Barbecue. Mmm, mmm. This place is good because you know I know my chicken. Leo's and Susie's Green Top Barbecue was started back in the 70s. And when you go on the inside, their pictures still hang on the wall. It's now in its third generation, and they're still making the best butts in town. Now this is just one day's worth of butts. You can get these sliced, diced, or you can get them whole. And this is for your cool we, our secret to our butts is we've done it the same way since we've been in business since the early 70s. We, we cook fresh butts on the pit. We put them on in the morning, smoke usually 12 to 14 hours with all hickory smoke. We don't do anything to them. All the flavor off of our butts is just off of the hickory smoke. The best barbecue in town. <laughs> Green Top also makes skinless grilled chicken breasts and of course, barbecue ribs. All right, you tried some of our butts and our chicken. Now try one of our ribs now. Oh man, I can't wait because they look so delicious. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God, this is so tender. How long was this cooking? About three to four hours on the slow road and smoke <laughs> on the pit. Oh my God, this is so good. Mmm. Look at how that just meat just come off right there, literally. Listen, your meat is so tender, if you don't have teeth, they can eat your food. That's exactly, I used to have them all the time come in with no teeth eating it. Mmm, mmm. This is the business, green top. This is where it's at. I can't wait to come back on 7 to come stop back here again. Some very popular dishes at Green Top are the pulled pork sandwiches and the stuffed baked potato with pork or chicken. <laughs> yeah, every single time. So come on now, you're a big guy. Why can't you get some ribs, pick up some meat, you know what I mean? No. Take care of one of the chicken breasts. What's up? No, if you want the best, you get the baked potato, layer of ranch to begin with, and then let the barbecue sauce just drizzle over the top. Perfection. Good. Sauce and if you're looking to eat something healthy on Green Top, they have an amazing loaded big salad. Okay, this normally people get a small barbecue salad and we put a small bow and a big bow. And we got lettuce and tomatoes and then diced pickles. Then we got the diced onions and then we put the cheese on top. And then the meat goes on top, it's getting hot now. And what kind of dressing does it want, we find out. 
Now, why is the wrench the best? It just oh. is. It's our house dress and everybody asks us for uh, it. All of them good. I'm excited to be eating this delicious salad here at the Green Top Cafe. Let me tell you, I'm trying to wash my figure around here because I got to save room for some banana pudding. <laughs> Over here with the pastor. Now, we done already said the grace. We ain't got to keep saying grace for every meal, dude. We, we said alone, so a little keep up with it. That's what I'm saying. But you know, what we do in church, the Lord knows my heart. That's exactly right. And I am grateful for this salad. Now, this, now, this salad is simply amazing at the treetop. I'm telling you, you got to come down here and get this. You can get some good food and stay sex at the same time. And you can get saved and talk to the pastor. There you go. There you go. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Yeah, this is the best smoked salad I ever had. Do you need some gut busting laughter that you, your kids, and your pastor can listen to and enjoy? Well, get Comedian Joy, the Queen of Queens' newest DVD live at the Stardome. But y'all, one of, but y'all, one of my favorite all-time televangelists is Joe Osteen. Anybody like Brother Joe? Y'all miss some Joe Osteen. I'm telling you, every time I listen to Joe, I feel like I can speed and hoover and won't even get a T. If you are married, if you're single, even if you're looking for love, Comedian Joy has some tips for you. If you go to church, she's talking about it. All of us know Jesus was the only person who walked the earth and didn't sin. But I'm thinking it out. Say, why, Joy? Because he wasn't married and didn't have kids. Don't you know them two combinations make you want to sin? Buy your copy of Live at the Stardome now at www.joythequeenofclean.com. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's precocious. Marriage would be great if they didn't have stuff in your vows like to death do your part, wouldn't it? Don't you want your vows to be like till you get on my last nerve? Because it's precocious. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. For over 30 years, George Saris and the Fish Market have been serving the finest, freshest seafood in the South. Always cooked to order, George is bringing you fresh family favorites seven days a week. Now we open on Sunday. Come get the best campy in Birmingham, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to taste it first myself. Oh my God, delicious. The fish market on Birmingham South Site is open on Sunday from 1045 to 4 p.m. Come join us at the fish market. And we're back, and joining me now is my good friend, Rob Bird. Now listen, you met me at the comedy club after one of my performances. I did, I did, it was back in 2010. Matter of fact, I still got the ticket stub right there in my Are hand. you serious? Now this is a real fan to still keep the ticket stub for one of my performances. Now, you got a DVD for me, didn't you? I did, I did. It's been cracking me up ever since you gave it to me. Man, that is awesome. But guess what? I have a new DVD, Rob. And guess what? You all can crack your side up just like my friend Rob has been doing over the years. Listen, watch this, and this is going to show you how you can get your own copy of Live at the Start On by Comedian Joy. Tell you what, Joy, that fish down at the fish market was outstanding. It really is. I love George Saris and the food that's cooked over there. But because you've been such a long time fan, I'm going to send you for lunch over at the fish market and I'm going to give you my newest DVD, Don and I with Comedian Joy. How about that? That's awesome. Thank so, you. So you can keep laughing. So you know what? When you get through laughing, I know how you can work it off. Guess what? Tell me. Do you like uh, Philly cheese sandwiches? Of course I do. You like big old man sandwiches? The bigger the better. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, guess what? Here on the best of Don and I with Comedian Joy, we're going to take you to one of the most popular shows and segments that I've done and that's over at Bessemer at Jersey Boys. So check out these huge sandwiches. You're gonna be hungry when you see this. I can't wait. All right, here we go with Jersey Boys. Well, we told you about the very authentic pasta and subs that served here at Jersey Boys in Bessemer. They've even expanded their menu since being featured on Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Let's go into the kitchen and see what else. Big items that they're serving that give that good old flavor of Joyzy. Last time we told you about Jersey Boys infamous hilltop sandwich, and now they've made it even bigger. Now, last time we talked about the hilltop, what did it include? Uh, it came with one half pound burger, uh, two grilled cheese sandwiches, four strips of bacon, lettuce, 
and tomatoes. So it's basically like three sandwiches in one. So now you've updated it. Tell me what it's going to have now. <laughs> now it has a pound of burger. So it's two patties, three grilled cheese sandwiches, six strips of bacon. Got your one grilled cheese. Got your half pound burger. Got another grilled cheese. Got another half pound burger. Man, look at how high this thing is. Are you kidding me? So this is really not meant to be healthy. No, not at all. It's meant to be good. If you're on a diet, do not buy this sandwich. And now it's topped with the third grilled cheese sandwich. Well, you gotta try one. Whoa! This is the double decker hill top. Look at this. You all thought the hill top was good? Look at this. Two pieces of meat, all this bacon. Hey, but look, I got a little lettuce and tomato to make it healthy, y'all. It's burning my hand. <laughs> Look at here. If you thought that first burger was good, you gotta come get this double duck right here. Hey, this double duck right here, man. This is all of that. This is all of that. The double decker here top is so good, I had to ask a kid to make sure that I was on point. It's really good. It's really cheesy. It's really good. I like it. And if you're not into sandwiches, another fan favorite at Jersey Boys is the pasta. Well, today, Joe, we're going to make for you a shrimp alfredo with lump crab meat. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil. We'll start with a little bit of garlic. Joy, not a lot, just a little bit. All right, Joy, now we're going to add a little bit of alfredo sauce. Then Dad adds some peony pasta, and after that's coated with the cream sauce, then he adds the lump crab. Joy, I know the last time you were here, you had the tasso ham and sausage, but today we want you to try our fresh shrimp and lump crab meat alfredo. Man, I am all about the seafood. Mobile is my hometown. Ain't nothing like fresh seafood. Did you go and catch these shrimp today? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Man, this is so good. It really is creamy. I just love the seafood in it. It's fresh. Look at this crab meat so fresh right here. We call the pops at the restaurant. You're going to have to dot me because that crab meat is good. Right Thank you, pop. sweetheart. Listen, sometimes, y'all, when I taste food, it's so good. That's all I like to do. You done did this pop. That's all I like to do right here. Hey, I'm going to need another place. This you day. got it. That's what I'm saying. I just love the food here at Jersey Boys. In fact, my friends came out to hang out with me. Now, did I love about the food here at Jersey Boys? No. no comedian Joy. That's why we watch Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Now, that's what's up. Now, listen, y'all continue to tune in because you know the places I take you to food so good and make you want to lay down. <laughs> We're back. Just in case you're just joining us for the best of with Dining Out with Comedian Joy, I am here with Sandra Little Brown. She is the County Commissioner for District 2 of Jefferson County. District 2, President Pro Tem. President Pro Tem, you heard that look. She keeping that district together absolutely, over there. Absolutely, absolutely. Love the work you're doing in our community. Thank you, thank you. I enjoy it. It's predocious. Yes, that's right. You've been watching the comedy <laughs> show. Yes. Learning yes, that word predocious yes, right there. Now, yes. Commissioner, do you like seafood? I love seafood. Do you like fresh fish? Oh Lord, yes, I love fresh fish. Well listen, I love fresh <laughs> seafood to and fresh fish and check out, I went to Ezell's Express over in Crestwood and the one in Tuscaloosa, so I shot this one. This uh, is best of right here on location and guess who I was there with? Who? I know you're an Auburn fan, who were you but I was with? eating with Trent Richardson. Oh great, I'm Alabama too then. That's what I'm saying, and guess what? <laughs> I tried to out eat Trent, but I think you tricked me. Trent! This for you, bruh. I want to rematch on this. So check out this segment of Down and Out with Comedian Joy. Me and Trent Richardson, we going in, y'all. Before the break, we took you to Ezel's Express where we showed you their amazing catfish and their signature hush puppets. But did you know when you have a catering order, they can also fire up the grill? Yeah, we take all kinds of special orders. We make, you know, depending on your Depending on what you need, we, we go from a normal fish fry to a fine dining wedding. We'll do we'll, uh, get crab lump meat, and make some um, some great crab tarts. And we can do anything that you really want concerning the food. We'll make it happen for you. Besides the good food, it is the customer service that make people want to continue coming back to Ezel's Express. All right, thank you. Here's y'all some 
sample? Because I was at Ezell's Express in Tuscaloosa, I decided to challenge former Crimson Tide player Trent Richardson to a food eating competition. Can you got a second rice or something like that? If we do the second rice, can you set up the equipment like Jesus went? <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Get one up on him. He over here playing, put this catch on the spoon. I'm hungry. I'm about to go in. You still talking? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Oh, boy. The contest is who can eat the most. What the hell is the matter? The contest is not who can eat the fastest. The fastest, the most, I bet you I can get mine down first. Yeah, see how you turn it. Alright, well, but I'm pushing this. I need to put some grits on it. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm crunching on the fish tail. Mm -hmm. You don't know nothing about the crunch fish tail, dude. That's good. Hey, these are pretty good. They put some sugar in it. It's good. Oh, man. Let's pull off on it. Look at him, I'm trying to be smooth. Okay, I'm going to get you. I ain't going to let y'all down, America. I promise I ain't going to do it. You're welcome. Woo, that's hot. Good night. Oh, I'm trying to win, y'all. The fish is too hot. He over here cheating. Oh, man, I, <laughs> I can't let him beat me, y'all. Hold on. I need to call somebody to come and help me. I can't believe Trent Richards just to beat me, y'all, eating food. But this food is so good here and easy. Hey, we need to do all. You still ain't gonna beat me. Man, I'm sure gonna try. You can play every one of them games I done played over and over. It's still not gonna happen. That's, that's just that's just in us here. So you beating people on the field and off the field? Off the field. I might try to make yourself win to turn the camera off. That's I exactly. Go ahead and edit it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. You done heard it right now from Trent, y'all. Yes, I'm gonna edit it because I wanna be the winner. That's how we do it. It's my show. I can do that. How you gonna try to beat me on my own show? I'm sorry, but you in my city. You, you're in my second city, so it happened like that. Well, he just to shut it down. Look, I need to see y'all over here at Ezell's down here in Tuscaloosa. Y'all can check them out for directions. Go on my blog. That's down and out with Comedian Joy. I got to finish this fish, and I got to find something I can beat this dude at. I'm out. Uh, oh, you just ain't right. You ain't right. I hope you have enjoyed this week's edition of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. And as always, if you need more information on the restaurant shown today, simply go to my website. That's DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com. DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com. Now, if you have a restaurant or want to advertise your business, simply give me a call. That number is 205-482-6999. 205-482-6999. Also, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Comedian Joy. I'd love to meet up with you sometime as I showcase the city with some great places to eat. And as always, as I said at the end of every show, you know the places that I take it. The food is so good and make you want to lay down. Comedian Joy. That's right, baby. Woo! <laughs> Comedian Joy is the best. The queen of clean. <laughs>